Hello, my name is Dr. Paul Choi. I am the director of endoscopy at the Los Angeles Endoscopy Center. And I'm also a fellow member of American Gastroenterological Association. In this video, I will be discussing chronic hepatitis B. Chronic hepatitis B is an extremely common disorder. It affects up to 400 million people worldwide. And in fact, up to 15 to 20 percent of patients infected with chronic hepatitis B die from this disease. Therefore, it is a very grave disorder that we need to effectively treat and prevent. Chronic hepatitis B is often transmitted from infected mother to a newborn child during delivery. It can also be transmitted through blood and through a sexual contact. However, hepatitis B is not infected through usual physical contact or uh, sharing uh, food with family member. Many patients with chronic hepatitis B are not aware that they have the virus because there are very few symptoms that are associated with chronic hepatitis B. However, as the disease progress, progress patients can often complain of extreme fatigue, anorexia, nausea, and at times uh, weight loss. They can also develop more advanced symptoms such as vomiting of blood, fluid in the abdomen such as ascites, jaundice, and even abdominal mass. The most worrisome complication of chronic hepatitis B is the development of cirrhosis and liver cancer, otherwise known as hepatoma. In order to make a diagnosis of chronic hepatitis B, we have to do two main tests such as the test for hepatitis B virus, uh, B surface antigen, and liver function tests. Uh, these are done using uh, the usual blood tests. Additionally, we may require uh, determination of hepatitis B viral DNA as well as sonogram of the liver. When patients present with hepatitis B for longer than six months in duration, which is defined as chronic hepatitis B, there are currently two treatment options available to them. They include interferon and antiviral drugs. These antiviral drugs work by suppressing viral replication and can be very effective in preventing the development of cirrhosis and the liver cancer. Chronic hepatitis B is an extremely serious illness. It can cause many serious complications including cirrhosis and the cancer of the liver. If you have hepatitis B, it is important that you eat healthy diet, perform regular exercise, and avoid alcohol at all costs. Additionally, if you're studying any new medication, this should be gone over with your physician so that we are aware of what kind of adverse effects uh, that it may impose on your liver. It is very important that you perform regular liver function tests, including liver enzymes, as well as cancer marker called alpha fetoprotein. You should also perform periodic sonogram of the liver, and if indicated, be treated for hepatitis B with antiviral therapy that may prevent complications such as cirrhosis and hepatoma. Thank you for listening.